today but first of all please press on that subscribe button press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update Alright, so as you know, this is how your uninstall or change program page looks like. Okay. Hi guys, this is the Tech Girl 007. So today I've come with this video to show you guys on how to get rid of this bar at the top of the uh, screen on Windows 10. So it's really annoying sometimes. It just got uh, installed without me even noticing. Like, okay, I haven't been hacked, but I think I must have downloaded some uh, programs and that just came with it like as a package. Okay, so to do that, we want to go on to here on the bottom left hand side of the screen where the windows button is when I click on there I want to say control panel so the control panel should come up here just click on it and then you want to say uninstall and in here okay I want to just go back because I just said uninstall it says uninstall a program okay so uninstall a program click on it and on the search bar here we want to say web this thing should come up it says web discovery browser blah 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 so whatever to do with web sometimes it's not that it could be named something else so you can look for um, them and it can be just anything you know so it might not be web discovery for you because I've seen this before and it wasn't web discovery before so yeah let's go ahead and do an install on this uninstall okay okay notice that we've got it in here and then once we uninstall it it will just disappear on its own okay so one two three okay yeah that's done okay so as we told you on the previous video or the video that you just seen you go on top of the screen where but before that can you please 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 do me a favor and visit my new channel this time we're gonna go through some words that could help those people who haven't been helped obviously who couldn't get much help on the previous video all right so let's see first of all what we're gonna do okay so seemingly that it was installed recently and you have only discovered it recently what I'm going to do for you guys is show you how to basically bring that on top of the page maybe not on the first line but maybe second or third because depending on if you had installed other programs after that then it will just bring it up on top of the screen all right so what we want to do is you go on here where it says install on i'm just going to expand it so you can see it clearly it says installed on so what that means is that it will show you guys this bit shows you guys all the dates of when you installed a new program okay so mine's already sorted by recent dates of the programs that have installed okay but I'll show you guys on how to get it if you haven't got it on the recent dates okay so you press on that and okay so you can see now I'm on 2015 but if I press it on it again I'm on 2018 okay so that's what you gotta do because that's gonna make it easier so sometimes instead of you searching in here for the words that you're looking for it might be the first thing on your install and change program page okay because you've sorted it by the last date okay so in here was obviously it's not on my computer right now because I've already removed it on the previous video as I showed you guys now let's go ahead to see how we could actually remove or find that toolbar now let's go ahead and search all of those words that are possible that could find us the actual program that was installed on your computer okay so this is just for this tutorial purposes if these might not find me that program on my uninstall or change a program page because I've already uninstalled it but this is just for you guys to just for you guys to ch search on your computer to uh, find possible solution all right so let's go ahead and see first of all what I'm gonna be typing on there so let's go ahead so it's search that's our first word and then and next let's go and say bar okay so some of my viewers has commented to say that oh bar didn't work or it wasn't discover or it wasn't web so this is why i'm giving you all the possible words that could actually help you find that program that was installed in your computer which is obviously the search bar so now the second one was um set bar then we're gonna write two okay then it is uh, this cover just discover okay so if that didn't find it the next one we're gonna go right google 
okay so this might bring you google chrome but obviously if you want google chrome you don't want to be uninstalling google chrome because uh, you know that's a program that you have actually installed but otherwise if there was something else underneath or over, uh, on the top of the uh, google chrome that you think you might not have installed then that's what you need to be uninstalling to see if that's the one for that search bar you know okay so let's go ahead and write the other word possible words so yahoo okay nothing's coming up obviously for me but it might come for you now I'm gonna still write web on here because um, just for those people okay as I can see that it has brought up McAfee web advisor but obviously I know that that's a program that I want so I don't want to uninstall that so that's fine and another one Bing okay so these are all the possible words they could be searching for you guys to get that program that was installed on your computer without you knowing okay so the sick whoa, what am I writing browser okay so that's another thing they can search for and then you will get okay you can search for get and then a crow chromium i think it is that's how you pronounce it okay so a little bit about chromium okay so basically personally i don't think it's a virus because i've had coronet a chromium on my computer before it hasn't given me anything like um viruses and it was just while i was installing another program okay so i don't know why, how some people think that it's um a virus it's gonna be a virus on your computer but yeah personally i don't think it does but just to be on the safe side you might want to be uninstalling that as well so yeah just i just always think of it as another program similar to google chrome basically yeah so that's why i think of it okay and the last word that we're going to be searching for is going to be engine okay so obviously it is a search engine so you don't you don't be missing on that as you can see i've got this intel management engine component on the screen that's coming up now of course we don't be uninstalling that because that's my default program that's uh, been installed on computer that wasn't me who installed it it was a default it's the intel so it's actually so yeah you don't be uninstalling that because that's your processor well it's for me it's my processor you might have um, i don't know amd or all the other things but yeah you don't want to be uninstalling that because that could crash your computer okay okay so that's the last word that we wanted to search to possibly find uh, the program that was installed on our computer without us knowing okay so that's the end of this tutorial and I hope this helped you guys and if it didn't you can still comment below to tell me obviously if it didn't help I'll come up with different ways on different uh, ways on how to uh, resolve this issue because I know it can be annoying and I have that word written on the comment below that was annoying for for most of my viewers and I can feel what you're feeling so yeah basically that's what it is okay so I hope this was helpful okay so obviously you can still comment down below you can you can comment down below to tell me how it was and if you like the part two of this and obviously if it still didn't help you guys I'll try to make a part three okay so yeah there we go then and yeah don't forget to share it like it and obviously subscribe to my channel yeah and last but not least I'd like to just uh, make you guys aware that I do have a second channel please 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 could you guys do me a favor go on it go through my videos obviously if you like it subscribe to it but just if you're doing it out of gesture you can uh, good bells gesture you can still subscribe to my videos maybe share it for people who like cooking and everything also besides cooking I do have some um, natural remedies videos on there that can help you cure any illnesses that you must have got and I will be coming with more and more and more videos as, as such to help you guys with your everyday life alright then take care guys bye bye